QR codes, they are still around. If you're interested in increasing your conversions between print or traditional media and getting more of those people online with your business and your brand to engage with beyond just the traditional, and QR codes are a great way of doing that. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Vicki O'Neill Carroll, and I help entrepreneurs and small business owners with their marketing and taking their business to the next level. Today, we're gonna to talk about QR codes and how you can use them in print or traditional media in order to continue the conversation beyond that first engagement or interaction with you or your brand. And one way that you can do that, a very effective way that you can do that is through QR codes. Are you familiar with these? Some people hear the term and they don't know what it is, or they may see what it looks like and they don't know that that's a QR code. So a QR code is what I put here on the screen, <laughs> but it's also a black square that has a bunch of little squares inside that essentially is a code that is associated with a particular item online. So it could be your website, it could be your B card, it could be um, a document that you upload, it could be anything that you want it to be digitally. And you can create two different types of QR codes. You've got a static QR code, which is one that when you connect your website, as an example, to a QR code, that connection is permanent. You can't change what that QR code goes to, it's something that will always be there. If you wanted to change it, you'd have to create a new one. So that's something to think through if you're gonna start using QR codes. What is the purpose and what is the shelf life or duration that you wanna be able to use that? If it's a QR code that's going to be printed and you may want to switch up what's actually happening when someone scans the QR code, then you will want to consider a dynamic QR code. So just as it says, when you scan it, it can go to different items and you can switch it behind the scenes based on what Mac makes the most sense for you, what you're trying to accomplish, and you don't have to change the QR code. So an example would be if you're going to different in-person events, now that we can do that, right? <laughs> if you're gonna be going to different in-person events and you're printing flyers or brochures or something that you wanna hand out to people who you see, prospects in particular, and you've got a large quantity that you are purchasing and you are going to be distributing and there's nothing that's gonna change with that particular product or whatever you're promoting on your flyer. And you go to an event, you pass them out and you're like, oh my gosh, we need to switch this up. We need to change the page. We need to switch how we're positioning it or something happens with that page. Something happens where you actually need to change where that QR, QR code is being directed and you're thinking we just printed all of these items and it's not going to the correct page. With the dynamic QR code, you can actually change where that page is connecting. Or if you wanna start with a page and then move that to a document that they can download or if you wanna change it to a webinar that you're promoting, whatever that is, think through the customer journey that you want those individuals to experience and just start with a QR code. Actually, it would be the second action, right? So you'd have a print piece, like a business card. I got this yesterday at an event. QR code. And all you have to do is scan it with your phone and it happens. Actually, I'm gonna show you how that works. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. A QR code, like I mentioned, this is a business card and someone at an event yesterday was handing these out and I thought, what a great timing to have this on my video because QR codes was the thing that I was gonna be talking about anyway. So I actually have a physical object oh. <laughs> to show you what it looks like and then also how it works. These used to require a special app and there were all kinds of different apps and it created confusion because if you created, if you were one person who liked a certain app but somebody didn't have that one downloaded, then it just created problems. What's really cool now is that all you need is your phone because your camera actually does the work for you. So all you need to do is open up your camera. Okay, so I've got my camera. <laughs> We're not gonna look at me though. Um, and you've got this, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So all you do is you take your QR code and you, did you see how that popped up on the screen? This right here, that pops up on the screen. 
So then you click on it and it takes you to, well, you have to unlock your, your lock screen first, but then it takes you to a landing page. Can you see how that might be beneficial for you and your brand and some different things that you might have going on with print or traditional or in-person type events where you could have a great conversation with somebody and really wish that you could send them information or get them to attend a webinar or tell them about an online course that you've developed or a great new product that you're getting ready to release and you wanna send them to a sales page. You can do that with QR codes. So all you have to do is print them and have them on something that you're gonna be handing out. So one of the things that I do is, and this is in LinkedIn, I believe it's in Instagram, it might be in some of the other applications I haven't looked, I just happened to see an Instagram the other day, but I intentionally went to LinkedIn to get this, but it's a QR code that's associated with your profile. So what I do is I just take a screenshot of it, which is what this is, but I use this as my lock screen. So right now it's just my cats. <laughs> um, but if I wanna make this my screensaver or my lock screen, it's super easy on Android. I'm not sure what it's like on an Apple, but I'm assuming that you can do this. Um, I think I've seen people have different lock screens on their, on their Apple devices. Um, but now, as you can see, so phone, I'm locking it, or I'm shutting it, you know, turning it off. Now when you open it, that's my, my lock screen now. So for anybody that I'm going to be networking with, all I have to do is hold it or else it'll, the screen will go off. But they can just scan that, just like I showed you on the business card, and then they will go to my LinkedIn profile. Pretty cool, right? So again, you can do this. I will show you a demonstration of what it looks like to create a QR code. You can simply just type in on Google free QR code generator and there are different options and I'll show you one here as an example so you can see what it looks like and then how you can use it. Super easy. And what I'm showing you are going to be the static QR code. So, and I'm going to use a URL. So it opens the URL after. So um, you just grab your, oops, your website. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And then you can see it's generating it here. This is the QR code. Here's an example of different frames that you can use. Some are free, some you need to upgrade to use. So you can change the colors to match your specific brand, your logo. You can add as well if you would like. PPX. If you want to scan the tracking, that's something that's only available in the paid program. So you just have to think through what you want to accomplish with this. If you're just connecting the dots between a traditional media message and trying to convert them to something online, then you can just use the free QR code. But if you want to do more with that and track the progress, then you will need to upgrade to a paid program. But then you can simply download as a JPEG and use it in any of your digital assets. It's that easy. So pretty cool, right? Can you think of some ways that you could use this with traditional media? I can just give you some other ideas besides the business card, your flyer, any brochures that you have, if you're advertising in the newspaper, if you place ads in magazines or any type of neighborhood type um, communications. I know sometimes there's newsletters or um, flyers talking about neighborhood events and they're looking for businesses to promote and that might be a good opportunity for you to do that. So think of some different ways that you're engaging with your prospects that aren't online and how you might be able to continue that conversation simply by creating a QR code. It's super easy and you can have quick quick and easy access to it whenever you need it. So this can change, you know, obviously whenever I want to do something different than LinkedIn, it can be something different than LinkedIn. You just do a screenshot of something, have it as your lock screen and poof, you have access to whatever it is that you want them to have access to. So if you have questions, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear if you've ever used QR codes before. If so, how valuable, useful, if you have results, love to hear about them. 
um, but it is a really great tool that you can use to connect the dots between traditional and digital media and then also just to continue the conversation with people, especially at networking events. So timing right now is perfect since we are all starting to get out and about and starting to create more events, attend more in-person events, and hopefully that continues post-COVID. So let me know in the comments if you have anything that you wanna know about or some ideas that you might have in how to use, effectively use QR codes. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time and choosing to be on this channel. And until next time, make today great.